Hi, I'm Ila and this is my cultural. I am from Kabul, Afghanistan, but now I reside in London. Please dear Lord, let my eyeliner be sisters at least. Okay, so first thing I start with is my eyeliner. And the thing about the way I wear eyeliner is we have a tribe of people in my country called Hazara. They're of Mongolian descent. So whenever I'm like at an Afghan function, most people think that's the tribe I belong to just because of the way I wear my liner. Um, my country is landlocked. Um, I think by 12 other countries, by all the stands. But we're very close to Russia as well. And China actually ain't too far. And all different parts of Afghanistan the people, they just don't look alike at all. Unless you're from the country, you won't be able to tell who's an Afghan and who isn't. I came to England when I was eight years old. I came on a fake passport, basically. I'm a refugee. So I've been in the UK since I was eight years old and I feel like London is my second home but in my heart i'll always be afghan through and through people have misconception of what afghanistan used to be like women were had a lot more freedom than they do now my mum actually used to have skirts shorter than her belt um and it used to be probably one of the most beautiful countries i still think it is one of the most beautiful countries in the world we have four full seasons. So in the winter, we would have inches and inches of white snow. In the summer, it would get so hot, you could probably not even stand outside. And in the autumn, everything was all the beautiful colors of oranges and reds. And our springs were amazing because the ice would melt from the mountains and then you'd get the crystal clear rivers running through. Afghanistan, the food is great. Clearly, I'm a great example of it. I love the Afghan culture because we are the hostess with the mostests. We go out of our way for our guests and we will force feed you till you can't actually eat anymore. Music is a big thing in my culture too. Like, Afghan people love to dance. Like, we love to dance. So in a wedding, we don't usually wait till the bride and groom have had their first dance. We just go for it. We love to entertain. And we, in general, Afghan people are really bubbly. Hence why I just can't stop talking. So I usually just do the eyeliner. But on a special occasion, I just add little accents. This is Citizen's new product that I'm applying on my eye. I feel like my face really can't carry makeup so well, so I like subtle accents. I love the colour. Um, it dries almost instantly, so you know you can wear it from the morning till the night. And it's not going to crease, it's not going to budge. It's going to be there through humidity and heat and a good night out. I like to use products that are, have multi-use, so I probably will use this on my cheeks as a highlight as well. I just love the color that it gives, and I can imagine myself wearing this while on holiday. I started wearing makeup at a really late age. I was a bit of a tomboy, so I used to work in a shop when I was younger. Um, while I was in uni, I studied art, a fine art and art history and I served a lady who actually had cancer and she was wearing a wig and she was sweating because she's obviously not used to wearing a wig and I literally told her why don't you just take the 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 wig off and she with a little bit of persuasion took the wig off and we drew flowers on her head and then she cried on the counter and I cried on the counter. And that's the day I decided that this is what I want as my career. I like to make people feel good about themselves. And I think it comes from 
the way I've been raised and my life. So I left Afghanistan when I was two years old. I don't really have a lot of memories. I only have, I would say like a very small handful. My mum used to say there was a place in Afghanistan, which was like the Mayfair of Kabul, which is the capital. Um, and it used to be called Little Paris because the, the people who lived there, like my father's family, were all businessmen and they used to travel and they would bring their wives back the most chicest clothes. So the center of Kabul, where all the rich businessmen left and all the women wore the most nicest clothes and was completely in tune with the fashion at the time, um, used to be called Little Paris. Um, my mom has some pictures and sometimes I kind of wish that I was there at that time to see how the women dressed and how they were. So I like to apply my foundation with this. Clearly you can see I need a lot of coverage. My skin is very red, I wasn't running or, or I wasn't hot or al allergic to anything. Just my cheeks have always been red. When I was little my teacher used to say, tell my mum I wear too much makeup in school, but it was actually just the rosiest cheeks. So we used to have one of the biggest Buddha statues in the world and it was in the mountains in the north of Afghanistan, a place called Bamiyan and um, it got destroyed over time, but now Japan is actually gonna fund it and restore it. And like I said, I like products that are multi-use. So I'm using Los Angeles, which is one of my favorite colors. It's like a deep dusky pink as a blusher. I actually like to wear it on the eyes as well, like in the crease, if you want like that whole no makeup makeup look, just to add a little bit of def definition in the crease without looking like you've got too much on. Did that fake smile when you put your blusher on. So, same, I mean, you could use a smaller brush too, but again, I'm all about the multi-use. And as the color goes over the, the gold, it actually makes it look like a rose gold. So. My brows usually take me the longest because they're not sisters, nor are they relatives. They're not even friends at the moment. I should have listened to my mum when I was younger. Don't pluck, over pluck your eyebrows. Random fact, Afghan people love a mono brow. They actually do. It's like a beauty spot to them in a really beautiful place. A mono brow was you know, women actually used to draw their eyebrows closer. Clearly my ones are very far apart. But back home, it's it was, it was a trend. So I, again, same product on the lips. And most people would probably put like a similar color lip liner. Um, but I actually love using Cinco, which is like a deep brown. Um, I just think it kind of gives it more depth and I can really go over my lip line without it looking... I know it looks crazy. But it works. I actually love this lip liner out of all of them. I think it goes with all the lip liners regardless of how nude or dark your lipstick is. You just have to blend. And you can actually use a brush too to do all the blending. So the main language in Afghanistan is Dari. It's very similar to Farsi so Iranians and Afghans can actually communicate. It's just like a different, a different dialect. The most used phrase I think in Farsi is probably "khubasti," which means "How are you? Are you okay?" We have very similar words "ananas," which is how the Germans say "pineapple," is the same in my language. There's a few other things that are similar in 
in languages is quite interesting because you just don't know where it actually originated first. I love Glow Balm in Pearl. Um, I like to use it on the lips. I, I mean, I love the lip gloss that Los Angeles comes with, but sometimes I just want it to be a little bit more iridescent. And I think it kind of, the pinks and the lilacs in the Glow Balm kind of helps enhance the lip color too. Oh my God, I love that. And then when I apply it on my cheeks, I always prefer to use my fingers because I think it gives you more control. The product is so pigmented. You actually only need to use a really small amount. So place it on with one finger and then dab with a clean finger. So I always put it on with my middle finger and then use the ring finger to, to spread. maybe just the tiniest bit on your nose it's actually really good for the winter hydrating i've actually decided to put the glow balm on my lids as well i want to see what the gold and the pearl look like together i love it i absolutely love it so this is my lip 